Welcome students, Tom Harmer here, your accounting professor, and this is a demonstration on how to set up the general ledger accounts in the QuickBooks Sullivan Realty Project. Now, you've already uh, finished setting up your company preferences, but I'm going to walk back and just take a peek at what you should have done. Now, this is the home page over here. You see the little home button there, and we can pretty much disregard this whole area in here. We're not going to be using it all of these uh, uh, items that uh, many other tools that QuickBooks has that we won't be using because we're keeping this straight to a general journal format. Uh, QuickBooks has all the other tools but uh, we're staying consistent with our textbook. So here we are here. Now you've gone in to company and you've come over to preferences. Okay, so I've clicked on preferences. There we go. There they come. All right, so and you've changed the name, so it's last name, first initial, space dash space Sullivan Realty. Okay, this address here for the company can be, uh, can be fictitious, but it takes that information when you do your credit card, so if you want to save yourself the trouble, and your whatever your email address there. So all we did in here was we fixed our company name, and we came down here, and we clicked on account numbers, and make sure it's showing the account numbers. That's all. Then we came all the way down to the bottom and clicked on save. Okay, and then we came, then we're back to the main screen. So that was set up all the way through preferences. Now we need to go to the general ledger. Now I can hover over company, you see. If I just go over it, it brings up, there's the chart of accounts right there. Okay, so I click, double click on chart of accounts. And here is what the QuickBooks forced on us. They created for us because we said that we uh, we were selling services. Well, we want to create our own uh, chart of accounts for our company, and we don't need these. So we're going to delete all of them that we can, and then we're going to edit a few uh, to the accounts that we can't to the accounts that we need from the accounts that we can't delete. So I'll demonstrate that to you. So I suggest go to the bottom of the list, click on an account to delete, and go click on delete. Yes. Okay, boom, it's gone. And then it comes right right back to the next one. Settlements and penalties. Delete. And I go yes. And it's still there. Okay, well, I just discovered in the current version, we can't see that the account has been deleted until we actually sign out and sign back in to QuickBooks. So you just need to go through the process, and I'll show you here again. Click, highlight it, delete it. Yes, and then just keep working right up the list. So you just have to remember what you've deleted there. And when it gets to the ones that it won't allow you to delete, it will tell you that. Okay, so here I've logged out, come back in, and I'm down to the first account that would not let me delete it. So I got it highlighted here, services, and I go delete, and I go yes. And it tells me this account cannot be deleted because it is used by a product or service, okay? So it's one of the required accounts. So I will continue uh, with other accounts and see if they will allow me to delete them also or not. Yeah, that one did. That's fine. That one can't be deleted. So I just use my up arrow. Delete, hit the enter key, it defaults to yes. Up arrow, delete, yes. Up arrow, delete, yes. Oh, well, let's do that one. Up arrow, delete, and enter. We'll do the retained earnings. Up arrow, delete. It did let us take out sales tax payable. Up arrow, delete, enter. That's required. Up arrow, delete, enter. And up arrow, delete, enter. Okay, so there's all of the accounts that are required accounts. So we're going to have to edit these accounts to accounts that we can use. I'm going to sign out and sign back in to get that final list. Hold on. Sign out. So 
I'm back in. Goes pretty quick. And then I just double click on company. It takes us straight to the chart of accounts. Okay, there we go. We've got five accounts that would we could not delete, and so we are going to edit those into accounts that we can use. Now I'm going to introduce you to a, a PDF file with screenshots of all of this. Let's go over to it. It's called the O2X QuickBooks Setup of General Ledger Accounts with Screenshots. Okay, so this is showing you that first chart of accounts that we've got that we had to delete a lot of accounts. Then it walked through and it's showing you how to delete those accounts. And then here it's down to that short list of accounts that we couldn't delete that we need to edit. So it says right here, now you are ready to edit these account names and numbers, okay? So you take a look at the bottom of this form and in a couple other forms I've given you, we have the chart of accounts as we want it to end up. Okay, one little error here, this uh, cash, other current asset, it should be other current asset again, but uh, there you go. So let's go back up to the top and we're going to go, that's our next thing is we're gonna edit these accounts, these are what we have, and we are going to edit those to um, to be this these accounts here, the cash account, retain earnings. We didn't change. We uh, changed these uh, income accounts to 411 commissions earned, 415 uh, interest income, and other income. Okay, so let's edit our first one here. Undeposited undeposited funds. We highlight it. We come over to edit. Now when you edit, you cannot change anything but the name and add the number. And so this is going to be cash tab 111. We can't change the type or anything below here. Okay, so then we go save. Okay, there it is. Cash 111. Then retained earnings, we're not touching. Billable expense income, we're going to edit that. And then let's go over here. We wanted that to be 411 commissions earned income. So let's see. It looks like I'm in my cash account. Okay, I'll save that. I must not have billable. There we go. Edit. Okay, and this is going to be commissions earned. Four eleven. Save. Nothing else to change there. Okay, then markup we're going to change to 415 interest income. So I edit interest income. 415 tab save. And our last one services. We're going to edit that to be 420 other income. There you go. So now the next demonstration, we're going to walk through the instructions to create the new accounts. Okay, I have a, a different instruction PDF that has this all like on two pages. So I'm going to switch over to that one for the instructions for setting up the rest of the accounts where we're adding. Okay, so we've got all of these edited and we've got this uh, chart of accounts now. Next, we're going to create the remaining new accounts. In the lower right, select New, and then we're going to choose from all account types, choose uh, other current assets, and then other current assets again, and then accounts receivable, account 112, and then Finish. Okay, so I come over here, I go to New, Come on, new. There we go. Okay, and then choose from all account types. Next. And then other current assets right here. Next. And then other current assets again right here. Next. Okay, and then now we name the account. This is accounts receivable. And that was 112. I'll just double check that real quick. Oops, can't go there. So then finish. Okay, so there is our new accounts receivable account. So let's do another one. I'll demonstrate another for you. Okay, let's go to our instructions over here. Oops, I guess I can't flip to my instructions when I'm here. There we go. Okay, 
Next one is we're going to do prepaid rent 114. Choose from, from all accounts, other current assets, other current assets, prepaid rent 114. Okay, so here we are again. I'm going to go new. Choose from all account types. Next. And then I can double click on double click, boom, and it goes to the next one. And I can go double click. Let's save that. And this is tab and that's one one four. Finish. So now I'm going to skip the next several and go to doing a fixed asset with depreciation because that is a little bit more complicated. Let's go take a look at the instructions. Okay, down here. Okay, choose from all account types, fixed assets, vehicles. Well, let's do the first one here. Choose from all account types, fixed assets, other fixed assets, office equipment 121. Okay, let's just go to that right now. So we're going to go new. Choose from all account types. Okay, fixed assets. Okay, and then let's go take a look at that again. It said other fixed assets. So come down here, other fixed assets, double click. And then we had office equipment. Tab and the account number was, account number is 121. Okay, and that's all we do. And then we go next. And then this, we don't put anything in here, and we go finish. Okay, now it's created these two other accounts that are related to depreciation. Let's take a look at our instructions here. And it says, okay, delete the original cost account auto-created. Okay, so we come back here. Original cost, highlight that. Delete, yes. Okay, and then we're going to rename this depreciation account and it says here okay finish it and edit to accumulated depreciation dash office equipment 122 okay so I'm going to edit that to accumulated depreciation and office equipment okay and that was 122 okay and then save okay so that's a demonstration of how to set up the um, fixed assets so there you go you can go ahead and uh, install and create all the remaining accounts required which are showed over here in your uh, uh, instructions by the way this brief instruction with no PDFs or no screenshots is O2 QuickBooks set up general ledger accounts. So I have those in your um, in your uh, website also to grab there. Okay? Well, proceed with that. After you finish creating the account, then you're going to want to print and submit the uh, your chart of accounts. So I'm going to show you how to uh, how to print. So after creating your entire chart of accounts, you want to submit it. You're going to be graded 10 points on that. So here we go. We're going to go up to reports, and then we're going to click on, if I just double click on that, that will bring us up to all the reports available. Okay? So then what we want to find is we want to find our chart of accounts. So to find that report, we've got to scroll all the way down to lists. Okay, list, and here we have under list, account listing. So I double click on that, and then up comes, these are the only accounts I've created so far. Of course, you're going to finish the job. So let's say that I'm done and I want to submit this for scoring. So I would come over here. First thing, I've got the list on here. I'm going to memorize it. You'll see the advantage of account listing, and I'm just going to say OK. So that is added that report in a memorized report list make it easy to get back to. Okay, so now I'm going to go to email. And then there it is. It's got my email address already there. Of course, yours won't have that. And then, oh, that's from. Okay, it's coming from me. And then I'm going to uh, now it could be a different uh, email address depending on the school 
that uh, is your uh, your end. So then account listing don't need a note, so I just send that off. I'm taking a peek here at how it looked coming into my email, and what we need for you to do is to add your name to it. So account listing and dash put uh, your last name first first name after that, okay? Or just your first and last name, however, but that way I can see whose it is when it comes in. And then you see if we got the right company name, you see Harm or T, I know whose report this is because the name is in the company name, okay? So, so that's everything that, um, that you need from me in this demonstration. You have the PDFs that have full details with screenshots. So get this chart of accounts set up. Do not start any general ledger transaction entry until this has been graded and sent back to you, okay? All right, thank you very much, and uh, good luck with the project.